Hey, my name is Matt Matson, and welcome to a series of videos covering some of the concepts introduced in my book, Melodic Stick Control, which is now available at LoneStarPercussion.com. These videos will provide some visual insight for those who have started working out of melodic stick control and also hopefully get those of you who have not yet purchased it excited about the musical possibilities of applying the concepts and practice methods introduced in my book. In the preparatory exercises at the beginning of the book, there are three main practice methods introduced which are used throughout melodic stick control. In this first video, I'll be demonstrating how the first practice method, the overlay concept, can make your drumming more musical by having it be melodically driven. All of the exercises in melodic stick control should eventually be played with an ostinato using one or both of your feet. I will be using a traditional jazz ostinato while demonstrating all of the preparatory exercises, which is quarter notes on the bass drum and two and four on the hi-hat, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four. But you can choose an ostinato that best fits your preferred music style from a list of ostinatos provided at the beginning of melodic stick control. The overlay concept has actually been around for over 30 years, and I first discovered it when studying with the phenomenal drummer and educator, Steve Houghton. To apply my version of the overlay concept, you overlay eighth notes, eighth note triplets, or 16th notes on the rhythms of a melodic idea and the rhythms of that idea serve as your accents. I'll make this clearer now by demonstrating on a very common melodic rhythm which is solely based on dotted quarter notes. First listen to the two measure rhythm played without an overlay. One, two, three, four. Now hear the same rhythm embellished with a straight eighth note overlay. One, two, and three, and four, and... Many music styles, not just jazz, sometimes have a swung eighth note interpretation. So you should practice all eighth note overlays with a swing feel, like this. One, and two, and three, and four, and... Now listen to an eighth note triplet overlay on the same melody, which will also result in a swung eighth note melodic interpretation. One and two and three and four and... Finally, listen to a sixteenth note overlay on the same melody, which will result in a straight eighth note melodic interpretation. One and two and three and four and... Learning to embellish melodies with the overlay concept is different from the more common approach of practicing countless sticking combinations and then trying to play musically. Instead, you'll be starting with a melody and training your mind to play stickings that are guided by that melody and the music, whether you are reading or improvising. Make sure and check out the next video where I will demonstrate how to make the overlay concept even more musical by combining it with the second practice method covered in the preparatory exercises called the clear melody concept. Thanks for watching and head over to drumphilosophy.com for more melodic stick control support and other free drumming resources.